Hey everyone, playing five minute chess. I can't make my thing move. Oh, there we go. Um, Alright, let me think. Pawn takes d5, it's the move. Bishop b5 is the move. That's correct. When you make them use the tempo. Uh, knight b3. You just think, I think bishop g5 castles rook e1. Correct. Correct. Bishop h4 not so good after rook e, after castles due to, um, oh, I never saw this move. Did I play the wrong move order? Let's do this. The idea is to go bishop g3 and, and trade the trade the bishops. This guy was whooping me in one minute chess, but I'm much worse, I think, in one minute than I am in five minute. So uh, I should go bishop g3 now uh, to stop them from going like knight up knight g6 or knight f5 someday. And I'll figure out what, I'll probably rookie 1, c3, queen d2. Usually in this opening you want to trade the dark squares bishops. Because that's a good attacking piece for black. I've never seen this f6 move. Who is, who is hypnotic spectre, spectre, by the way? Does anyone know? I wish I was a little better at one minute chess. Just a little. I'm not horrible, but... I've gotten better at it, just from some practice recently. But I'm still just better when the time control's a little slower. Does anyone know who this guy is? I have no clue. I'm gonna whoop his ass, though. Alright, let's think. I don't wanna go Knight Takes Pawn. Uh, maybe, if Rookie won? Am I worried about... No, I, I like Rookie won. Oh, no, he has bishop g4, and bishop e2, I like that. And usually in these positions, you want to trade all the minor pieces off, and then just play against the d5 pawn. And I also think that, there's no way this is chess network, his rating is way too high. Um, basically, you want to just play against this isolated pawn. I also like that he has a weakness on e6. It's his fault, though. He put, um, he played. He's the one who played f6. But definitely, that weakness could be favorable for me. Oh, queen d4, interesting. Probably not. Uh, bishop e2, no good. Queen e2, nah. He'll go bishop g4. C3. Knight d4. Knight on c to d4, maybe. I, like c3, you know, I just play c3. Well, I'm gonna go like this. I shouldn't spend too much time on these triples. The thing I didn't want to go c3, I don't really know why. I, I didn't want to commit this because my queen's not eyeing d5 anymore, so that was like a little annoying to me. There's no way it's Jerry Belay or whatever. I forget how to pronounce the name, but I played that guy when I was a kid a lot. If I'm not mistaken. Silly Ollie says, "Think Greg is winning now." Well, that's a little extreme. I maybe I'm a little, I'm better. I'm like a bit better, but I have to avoid a few things with this guy because he is better at time scrambles than me because he does whoop my ass in one minute chess. So I gotta make sure to like not get in some crazy ass time scramble because then. He'll probably beat me. But right now I have a whole minute edge on him, so that's that's good. Uh, I think I should just continue playing quickly. I think c3. Whatever. Just, make, just keep the time edge while our position is also nice. Uh, his d5 pawn... It's not great. Right, bishop e2 or bishop f1? I'm going to go all the way back, but... If he goes bishop g4, I'll actually come back to e2, maybe. I just didn't want to... Okay, queen b3? 
Seems solid. Let's just do it. Idea rook to a to d1. He'll probably put his rook in the middle, but I'm attacking b7 actually, so he has to be a little careful. This position is like nice and solid for white. Uh, I'll probably, yeah, I'll just do this. Keep the time edge. Um, now how do we proceed? I can move my knight away. Like knight c2 maybe? Mm, yeah, what the hell. Okay, it's a little weird move. But. I just want to do a knight e3, which is a little weird also. Uh, you know what, I'm going to do this first. And then I'm going to put the other knight on e3. I'm putting a lot of pressure in this position. But he's catching up on the clock, which is a little unpleasant. Starting to move fast. I should just do this. I don't know if it does anything, so maybe I won't. Queen b4? kind of like it. I'm just going to do it. This is b5 idea. is like a pain in the ass. If b6... Can he play b6? Not lose his pawn. Alright, now what? I can take on c6. It should be nice enough. I mean, I'm just going to do it and hope. Well, let's see. Is f4 first? No. You know, maybe it's not as good as I, I want it to be. Crap, here's what I'm slowing down. Bishop a6, b5... Alright, I'm going to do this. Oh, he can go rook a7. Jesus fucking... Alright, well, he didn't do it. So now things get interesting. He can go rook a7 now, though. But like, I, I totally um, made this game a little wild. A little too wild. Alright, what's happening here? This looks really bad for him. What the hell? He just missed I was attacking this rook. Alright, I win. Uh, technique there was definitely off. Um, where was it off? Well, I probably should not take, I, okay, I did this, but I should probably now, like, not even take on a6. Like, first of all, he has rook a7 here, and just not, it's not so great for me. I have to go f4, and it's just ugly. He missed that. He's rushing a little bit. And now on f4, I think he should still go, like, rook a7 or rook e7 or something. Take, take. I don't know. It's like not so obvious. I mean, maybe I'm like my pawns suck. I'm probably just not that, not doing that well. You know, black's a little better. I mean, I, bishop a6. I just think not. I can go b5, but bishop b7 horrible move. What's up with this? Oh, bishop takes, and then I just take some pawns. Okay, I wouldn't have figured that out though. I guess I should have played b5. I didn't like my bishop stranded over here in a6, but I guess I guess it's okay. Thinks I'm just winning, actually. So, alright. But fortunately, he just blundered all his stuff. So, yay. Yay for us. Did I finger this guy yet? Yeah, nobody knows his rating, I guess. Or his name. Oh, well. Anyway, thanks for watching, YouTube. See you next time. Bye-bye.